So I definitely came to uh, some sort of clearing and looks like a partial stone wall. Box, that's the problem. This is pretty big clearing here, right in the middle of the woods. Looks like that wall, stone wall continues further here. This would be a very interesting place to search. With a metal detector. There's a clear path here as well. Interesting. Well, let's go this way a little bit further. Honestly, I don't know where I am right now. I think I would have to go back to hit some sort of hit my main trail, but Not quite sure. It's like there is a little remnants of a stone wall, stone wall here. Box I think was. I'm getting more sweaty maybe that's why. There's definitely human activity over there. Let's keep going. There's a depression here with some sort of rock formations around it. I'm not sure what was here, but Looks like former human activity again would be a good area to search. I'm going completely through the woods, not sure where I'm heading, not sure where I am to be honest. There's a bit of a clearing here, let's continue here. Not sure which way to go back and how I'm gonna go back. But I'm hoping State of Rhode Island is small enough that I will eventually reach somewhere. I just hope I'm not going to meet a bear or some other creature that's bigger than me. 
this is a spooky place, I have to say. I have to admit. It's pretty dark. Tons of bugs. And uh, it looks like a bed of a stream. Maybe that's why there's so many bugs here. I gotta get out of here. Oh, what's this? An old bottle. Yeah, I better get out of here. This is bugs are killing me. I continue on the trail and I see on the right a stone wall. So let's get it closer. Now that's a definite nice looking stone wall here. us there's a little depression here it's not a good time definitely during the fall it's better to come here uh, This would be a, such a nice area to explore. That's where it ends. Now let's continue further in. See where it will, it will take us. There is a definite hill over here. Another stone wall I can see in a little bit of distance from me. Let's check that area as well. Looks like there was a little stream. That's why there's so many bugs. But this is, this looks like there was some sort of settlements, some construct, some housing probably. area is a little bit more clear but there you go there is another stone wall right here and I see further down the stone wall continues okay then let's go let's go further down and explore as I can see the stone wall definitely splits This one goes to the right and this one goes to the left. That is interesting. So I think I found definitely a place where they lived. You can see the stone wall here splits to the left and continues further down. And then there is a hill. Let's go up the 
hill and see what, what's going on over there. So I am on top of the hill and as you can see down there there's a stone wall. I can tell there's a lot of human activities. There used to be there's a lot of rocks. So there's a little path, little trail here that I'm gonna use to see if I can find something. Well, there's a, this hill actually continues further up, okay? So let's go further up and see what we can find over there. So I see a lot of timber here. It's definite, definite human activity from a long time ago. Well, I'm on top of the hill. I don't really see anything super interesting, although there is Pretty much everything here is reclaimed by Mother Nature. But I'm gonna go down the hill, cross that wall, stone wall, and see if I can follow it. Whoa, there is a pretty steep decline over here. Let's go this way. I'm gonna try to reach that stone wall. Uh, but I'm gonna go this way. Coming to another fairly spooky place, I have to say. But interesting. Just take a look. It's fairly quiet. I don't really hear birds chirping here. There's a big rock formation ahead of me. Let's check it out. I'm just going right now without any path. Just going right through. See if I can come across more interesting sites. But as you can see down here, that is an interesting place. This freaking deer scared the hell out of me. I bet you he knows where uh, interesting places are here. Cellar holes. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to find one with all the brushes. And this is pretty large area to cover. I know there are here cell cellar holes. I've seen on the pictures. But so far, I didn't come up on one. Although, like I said, I could have been standing near one and wouldn't even know it. Since the heavy brush at times and everything's covered by leaves. Looks like I came to another trail. Honestly, I have no idea where I am in this Hanton, lost Hanton city. I'm gonna continue. I couldn't get any signal from GPS, so it's gonna be interesting how I will find my way back, but I see some trucks, some vehicle. So I'm hoping if I follow that, eventually I'll come up to some settlement. But I see another stone wall. I don't think it's the same one. Although, let's see. 
No, it's a definitely different, different one. It's a smaller one. There's vegetation. Looks like it's encircling this whole area. What a prime area to do some metal detecting here. Okay, let's continue here then. That stone wall continues. Pretty long distance so far. We'll see if we'll lead to something interesting. Well, I keep going and I see the stone wall. Keep going. A little obstacle here and there. Looks like the stone wall is ending right here. This was from all the way over there. All the way over here. Okay. Let's continue. I see another rock formation or uh, construction. Let's see what that is. sure to be honest wow it turns out that I cut right through this whole area and came out to the other side of the Rocky Hill Road so at least I got my bearings so I will go back and then bear to my left and hopefully I'll pick up the main trail and maybe I'll see something interesting on my way back. But I picked up the GPS signal, that's, uh, that's a good thing. So I'm going back. I hope I don't get lost again. But I see the uh, stone wall here. The one we saw previously. And of course stone walls are prime locations to search for uh, stashes. And uh, it was definitely a location where folks used to bury the, the savings. And there still might be something along the, the, uh, those walls. So I would definitely come here with a metal detector and search along the path of those walls. But uh, let's keep going straight and uh, I hope I don't veer off the beaten path for too much. I can't help myself but going off the beaten path again because I see uh, like the ending of the stone wall here on this end and it has gotten really dark over here. I don't know if you can see that or not but it is, it is very interesting to say the least. So the stone wall continues of course further up and I will be going that direction see if there is anything interesting I certainly didn't come this way I veered off the uh, I cut right through the bar uh, through the brush and maybe I don't know hour or so later I cut right through through uh, met with Rocky Hill somewhere in the middle I can't help myself but go off the beaten path and uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get lost again but I see something in the distance that caught my interest a little bit of a hill with some rocks looks like some human activities so let's let's check this out There's definitely remnants of uh, another stone wall. <sighs> Good 
looks like there's a bit of a clearing here. I don't know if I should leave my path or not. No, I better go back. There's so many spider webs here. I'm getting caught one after in one after another. It's not a very pleasant feeling. All right. I don't know if it's getting dark because of time of day or it's because thickness of the woods. I think it's a little bit of both. I better head back. Don't want to be here when it gets dark. It might get a little bit too spooky for me. I have not come up with the uh, cellar holes. I'm still hoping I might find some. But definitely interesting uh, stone walls and uh, former human activities, uh, former constructions, a lot of uh, discarded rock. Um, if, you, if you have not um, click subscribe, please do so. Um, as I will be posting this type of videos uh, more in the future, I will tell you exact directions how to get here at the end of the video. Okay, so I'll see you later. So I'm coming back a different way and I can see again a stone wall. So let's get closer. Look. The spider webs are not very pleasant. Interesting. Another great place to do some metal detecting. That's for sure. So this wall continues this way. Oh, nice. Looks like a little path. Nice wall. My path is veering off to the left. But looks like this wall is ending right here. I'm gonna cut through. Yeah, that's the ending of the wall. All right, I'm gonna get off my trail and just go that little path here, um, that little trail, because I know I have to go towards my left anyway. What is it? That is. And see if maybe I will come up across something. That was interesting, but this looks like the city of Hampton, the lost city, was scattered over a fairly large area. So there is a lot more possibilities here for a treasure hunter. And uh, I would do some more research if I was you before I came here. Uh, perhaps try to find out what the cellar holes are. I did not. I uh, did not see any information before and the locations where they might be, but I know they're here. Um, but the stone walls and the, uh, you can see the human activity. Uh, I should be going the other way. You, sh you see the former human activity and that is certainly a good place. To do some hunting. So I continue on the small little trail and I've noticed that it looks like remnants of the stone wall, like this whole st stone wall continued and 
those are like buried remnants and uh, it's almost gone here but I can still the remnants still see them and of course that it is continues right here nice awesome it's a great place to hunt look at all those trees that fell on that wall but it does continue so I would definitely come back here with a good metal detector it looks like there is a, a hole nearby the stone wall I don't know if you can see it but it looks like a looks like a hole would be interesting to explore it and that stone wall is a little bit destroyed here but I can see it continues further up further down I should say I'm off the beaten path now let's continue I see on the other side remnants of the stone wall as well all right let's just keep going looks like I had the uh, more back to that side trail I have started my way back again this is not the way I was coming this way so it will be interesting to see if there's anything new that I can spot here what is that the almost looks like a, almost looks like graves or oh my goodness I think that it does look like graves huh. it looks like a little cemetery my goodness looks like somebody was digging here oh. Oh, I don't like that. Somebody would be digging somebody's grave. No, that's that's definitely look like a little cemetery. That definitely looks like a cemetery. And I don't know if some vandals came and knocked some of those on monuments or uh, they naturally fell but uh, definitely gonna say a prayer for them if there was anything inscribed it's certainly gone by now wow I didn't expect that continuing back on that side trail so I've noticed something as I on my way back not sure what that is to be honest if anybody knows let me know here's an interesting place small enclosed stone wall continues over here there's a little depression uh, this whole area should be searched I mean it could be cellar hole but it's all covered this is I see a old timber super interesting stuff uh, I bet you a good metal detector would uncover here a lot of artifacts. Cannot guarantee it, but I would definitely try. So on my way back, I see those two pretty good depressions. Uh, almost cellar-like 
holes um, it might be worth exploring as well and I'll tell you uh, how to get here at the end of the video as promised so yes I found my way back um, and I have to tell you I just talked to a local who knew about that little cemetery that I made a little video about and I wasn't 100% sure but it was a cemetery and he also told me that there is an old the original old foundation around that cemetery of a former dwelling I didn't know that so I didn't explore that area but I know where the cemetery is so right in that area around the cemetery there is the old foundation and I will tell you how to get that um, right now so as you can see again I showed you at the beginning Rocky Hill this is the uh, Hunton Trail uh, road from this end from Rock, where Rocky Hill Road begins is right before Rocky Hill Road and how to get here I will tell you in a, in a minute but from here you will take about 10 minute walk you there is a split you will take a right then another maybe 10 minute walk you will see the little cemetery on the left and apparently around that cemetery there are all the foundations of that old old dwelling um, that I couldn't find but now you know what it is